In the annals of medical history, a condition known as cellulitis emerged from the depths of obscurity. Like a silent predator, it roamed undetected, wreaking havoc on unsuspecting victims of its wrath. Cellulitis, derived from the Latin words cellula, meaning little cell, and itis, meaning inflammation, is a skin infection that invades the deeper layers of the skin and subcutaneous tissue. Take a journey with me. Let's unravel the mysteries. Real quick, though, this around is crazy ailment. The origins of cellulitis lie in the countless organisms that inhabit our surroundings. Bacteria, primarily Streptococcus and Staphylococcus species, are the most common culprits. They find their way into the body through a break in the skin, a scratch, a minuscule wound, a cut, even an insect bite. And once inside, these opportunistic invaders launch an assault on the body's natural defenses, exploiting weaknesses inside your immune system. Cellulitis remained relatively unrecognized until medical pioneers, armed with their stethoscopes and microscopes, ventured to unravel its secrets. In the mid-19th century, the advent of germ theory shed light on the invisible world of microorganisms and their role in disease. And with this knowledge in hand, physicians began to piece together the puzzles of cellulitis. Throughout history, cellulitis has plagued humanity, leaving its mark on countless lives. In the past, before the advent of antibiotics, cellulitis often led to severe complications, even death. Without effective treatments, the infection would spread like wildfire, consuming the surrounding tissues, causing disfigurement and leaving victims in agonizing pain. It was a race against time for physicians. They had to find a way to combat the silent enemy. Over time, medical science advanced and remedies were discovered to tame the rampant cellulitis. Antibiotics emerged as the superheroes in this battle combating the invading bacteria and reducing the infection. Yet, prevention remained crucial. Proper wound care, meticulous hygiene, timely medical intervention, they're all vital to stave off the infection's insidious advances. When cellulitis strikes, it announces its presence with a host of distressing symptoms. The affected area becomes red, swollen, tendered to the touch. The skin takes on a warm, flushed appearance, as if a fire rages deep inside. In some cases, the infection can progress rapidly, leading to the formation of abscesses or the development of life-threatening conditions, such as sepsis. The pain can be excruciating, reminding the afflicted of their body's vulnerability. You see... In the realm of worst-case scenarios, cellulitis can present significant challenges. In individuals with comprised immune systems, like those people who have diabetes or HIV, the infection spreads rapidly. It causes severe tissue damage and poses a grave risk to their life. Necrotizing fasciitis a rare but devastating form of cellulitis can lead to the rapid destruction of the subcutaneous tissue, necessitating immediate surgical intervention. Fortunately, modern medicine has proved an array of treatments to combat cellulitis. Oral or intravenous antibiotics tailored to the specific bacteria causing the infection serve as the cornerstone of therapy. Elevating the affected limb applying warm compresses, taking over-the-counter pain relievers that can all help alleviate discomfort. And in complex cases, surgical drainage might be necessary to remove the pus and control the infection. The battle against cellulitis is ongoing. Bacteria continue to evolve and adapt. Vigilance, education, and early intervention remain paramount in combating this stealthy adversary. By staying informed, maintaining good hygiene, and promptly seeking medical attention, we can all reduce the impact of cellulitis in the world. These are Interesting Things with J.C.